Green Chef from the Speed. Were three? Were there three? I say yeah. There were. Okay. What's the name? Oh, okay. It's already there. Sorry. <laughs> He's already step ahead of me. At times, Biden's competitiveness with Obama has affected how he governs. He's tried to correct for what he sees as a former president's mistake. Let's move on now. However, I'm warning you now. Always been a voice for you guys. I don't tell you something to sound like the guy or the man or who gives a shit. None of that really matters. None of that matters. All that matters is that we are a step ahead and can see around corners with these people. And everyone who told you, oh, don't worry, the never Trumpers who said Biden's a moderate voice, Trump is so dangerous, we can vote for Biden and he's going to be a caretaker guy. I was the guy telling you that's bull. He is going to out Obama, Obama, because he's jealous. And now you're seeing them report on it. A second term is going to be a freaking nightmare like you've never seen. Everything you never thought would happen will happen. You better vote like your darn life depends on it because it will. Your guns, gone. Your money, gone. Stock market, done. Wealth tax, it's all going to be there. If he has the votes, it is all going to happen. Bouncing around so much. I must choke myself. Folks, we got another, some hoax busting to do. So, you know, listen, in the past, it was kind of difficult busting hoaxes with Trump. Uh, right, Joe? I mean, it took a few days. The thing yeah. with, uh, let's, for example, the fine people hoax in Charlottesville. Trump celebrates white supremacists. Now, for those of us who watched the speech after the Charlottesville uh, incident, what happened? Donald Trump uh, condemned completely and totally the white supremacists. But of course, because the media are scum and garbage, they said Donald Trump praised a bunch of white supremacists in Charlottesville. Now, folks, uh, I think, fellas, we got to be honest, everyone here, that that lie spread around the world, did it not? I mean, yeah. Joe, you remember it? It was like a week later, Joe and I were still like, I can't believe the people, oh, just watch the freaking speech. Like, it, all you had to do was listen to it. And I was like, wow, the media, man, they really are powerful. But then the insurrection hoax happened where he told people to march peacefully and patriotically. And we kind of got out ahead of that one. But still, I'm not going to tell you we won that. We still kind of lost that one. They got that around. I mean, so much so Jack Smith and Biden are trying to prosecute him over it. But ladies and gentlemen, we have grown powerful because, you know, I love Guy and he loves Star Wars. This is like a force analogy. They struck down Obi-Wan and only made him more powerful. I think the beatings we've taken in the media, ladies and gents, I'm with you, brothers and sisters. I'm not virtue signaling with you. We don't have to do that with each other. And this is not time to, like, pop the champagne on the vuv, you know? But you should at least kind of keep your chin up and your chest out this weekend. You won this weekend. The media tried it again with the bloodbath hoax. What's the bloodbath hoax? Well, for, you know, for those of you who may have missed it this weekend, understandably, yeah, I almost missed it. I had, obviously, things going on. But I found out, seeing this montage of headlines, I was like, wow, Trump was calling for violence in the country? This is crazy. NBC News. Trump says there'll be a bloodbath if he loses the election. I was like, holy Moses, that's awful. We shouldn't say that. In Ohio campaign rally, Trump said there'll be a bloodbath, according to CBS, if he loses in November. And then Rolling Stone, which is, this is how I knew it was fake, Joe. Rolling Stone, what, guys, what's the rule on Rolling Stone? Whatever Rolling Stone says, the opposite's true. So once I saw Rolling Stone, I'm like, okay, this is definitely not true. Trump says there will be a bloodbath and elections will end if he isn't reelected. By the way, hat tip to end wokeness for this. He put this up in a tweet and I was like, okay, I saw Rolling Stone, so I figured this didn't happen. So for the sake of clarity... Uh, showing you what kind of scum the media is. I'm going to play the minute. You may have heard it before, but it's worth hearing again, especially for the liberals who listen. Here is Donald Trump, the bloodbath comments, and you're going to notice something really funny. He's not talking about a bloodbath violence in the street if he's not elected. He's talking about the economic conditions of the car market. Sounds totally different than what the media told us. You listen yourself. Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years 34% of the automobile manufacturing business in our country. Think of it. 
went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those cars if I get elected. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. Folks, he's clearly talking about the car market. Now, one of the things on this show I refuse to do is do the same segment you've heard on cable news all weekend. I always try to take a story and give you an angle that's different and matters. We obviously know that's fake. The point to this is, folks, today to give you a little bit of a pat on the back so you have some positive incentive to continue to do what you successfully did this weekend. You took a story that would have been a pun intended bloodbath for Donald Trump and his campaign if this was true. Donald Trump threatened violence if he wasn't elected. You're all going to die in some bloodbath. You took a story that would have been a disaster for Donald Trump. And not only did you crush it immediately, immediately, you turned it around so it became a, quote, bloodbath for the media that tried Bloodbathgate. They just got humiliated. Now, the term bloodbath, the lefties in the media can't use that term, conjures up images of violence. Uh, it was his hat tip, Mays Moore. Oh, really? Democrats never use that term? Uh, check this out. In a move that could haunt the GOP, Donald Trump's allies have now ordered mass layoffs at the Republican National Committee. It comes just days after Trump's allies, including his daughter-in-law, took command of the RNC. Headlines calling it a, quote, bloodbath and a, quote, mob-like takeover, with more than 60 officials, including senior staff members, laid off or asked to resign Folks, I could play for you a hundred of these, maybe more, of media people using that exact word to talk about firings, layoffs, economic conditions, the economy. You took this story. In a very instructive moment, I need you to internalize and take going forward. Here's the business model now. Get on social media seconds after it happens. Watch what the media does. When they pick up the story, fire back instantly, instantly. With Now with X under the control of Elon, it is impossible for them to control the narrative anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in charge now, not them. And of course, leave it up to the, I mean, the absolute dipshits at Drudge Report. If you're still using Drudge, I'm sorry. Uh, here's Drudge, their headline. Trump warns bloodbath if he's not elected. Folks, get off Drudge. I haven't, whether you use mine or not, I don't care. There's Citizens Free Press out there, Revolver. I have BonginoReport.com. They're all good. I don't, I don't care which one you use. It's not, we don't do it for the money. I just do it to give you an option. Get off Drudge. It's a garbage website for lefties. All he wants is to destroy Donald Trump. That's it. I, I I'm not going to lie to you. I have to look at it every day because I have to see what crap he's reporting. But don't give this guy the clicks. Again, you got Bongino Report, Citizens Free Press, Revolver, and there's more out there. There are other news aggregators. Don't give Drudge the clicks. It's a site run by absolute goons on the left. Uh, and yeah, and again, the website hasn't been updated in, in you know, it's 472 millennia. So just get off it. We have videos on ours, too, to help you out. So, and by the way, they're so worried. This is, uh, receipts matter, right? It's one thing for me to say, oh, we've turned the tide. We're winning now. It's a virtue signal. You're doing a mighty Joe Young pat on your chest, you know. No. New York Times, March 17th. I think that was yesterday, right? I don't even know the date. I'm losing track of time. How Trump's allies are winning the war over disinformation. We're winning. They know it. They know we're winning. 
I got another hoax, though. Bloodbath Gate stole the whole weekend, and good job crushing the media and making a story about them. You all are amazing. But there's another hoax brewing now. I, I need, uh, I, I'm asking you again for a favor. I don't know, this one's not like a beg means like I, but I'm asking you pleasantly and respectfully for a favor. There's another hoax brewing out there. It involves Trump, Hunter Biden, and an FBI informant. The Guardian started up this weekend, and I need you to crush this one too. And again, I'll bring the receipt on it that it's a ridiculous one too. I Listen, if it's a hoax, it's a hoax. If it's not, it's not. These are all scams. Quick break, we'll get right back to, are you having trouble sleeping? Had a rough weekend, folks. Is poor sleep negatively impacting your life? You tried other sleep supplements with no success? It's time to embrace the, embrace the importance of a restful night's slumber. The deep sleep, folks, just look it up. It's the healing, the, the growth hormone release, and your brain cleaning out all the goop. You got to get the deep sleep. Introducing Beam's Dream Powder. It's a hot cocoa for sleep that could transform your nights. You know how important sleep is to me. Make it a priority in your life, too. And today, my listeners get a special discount on Beam's Dream Powder. They're science-backed hot cocoa for sleep with no added sugar. Better sleep has never tasted better. Those other sleep aids can cause next-day grogginess, but Dream contains a powerful, all-natural ingredient. Check out the science on this stuff. Reishi, magnesium, L-theanine, apigenin, and melatonin help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. Just mix Beam Dream into hot water or milk. That's how I drink it. Enjoy before bedtime. You want to try Beam's best-selling dream powder? Get up to 40% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com slash Bongino. Shopbeam.com 